All of the products in this video, the Immersion RC, Lap RF Timing System, and the Multi-GP Gates were purchased by me. They were not provided by any sponsors. I did not receive any money for making this video, and no one else has had any editorial input or influence on the content of this video. JB 13.9 It's racing time, baby. We're going to the hardware store today, folks. We're going to be building some multi-GP gates today. It's going to be racing season soon. I need to get some packs in and get ready. Let's do it. stuff we need one inch PVC schedule 40 pipe now each gate is going to need two six foot pieces and one seven foot piece and since the pieces come in ten foot lengths we got to put some thought into the best way to divide them up I think the best way to do it is going to be to cut three foot pieces and we'll get three three foot pieces out of a ten foot stick with one foot of waste and then we'll use couplers. We're also gonna need two elbows per gate. And for those side pieces, we're gonna need a one inch schedule 40 coupling, non-threaded. Finally, if we wanna make any double high gates or anything like that, we're gonna want T's, schedule 41 inch T's. And so we're gonna replace the 90 degrees of those. Well, you can't race if you don't know how fast you're going. And for big, like pro races, oftentimes the Immersion RC Lap RF eight-way system is used. I've actually got a video I did a while back when we got that system for our local multi-GP chapter. I'll put a link to it down in the video description if you want to see how big races with lots of pilots use a piece of software called LiveTime and the eight-way Lap RF system to do timing. But for an individual pilot who's just practicing what are you going to do? This is one answer. This is the Immersion RC Lap RF Puck, and it's basically a one person lap timer that hooks up to your cell phone. And I think some kind of timing system is, I mean, this is just indisputable. Some kind of timing system is mandatory if you're going to practice for races. You cannot know if the things that you are trying to do to go faster are actually effective at making you go faster unless you have a timing system. Um, so, this one here, why did I get this one? It's like $100. It's not cheap. You can build. There's open source lap timers like the Delta 5 lap timer, which are much cheaper. You have to build them. And uh, the Delta 5, at least, as far as I know, it works with a laptop, right? So I don't want to be carrying a laptop with me. This is pretty much a self-contained system. But mostly I was just in a hurry because there's a race coming up in like a week and a half. And I was like, I just need a timing system. I just buy it. So this is what we're going to look at today. Um, let's turn it on. It's on. Lap RF personal timing system. Install. Open. This is Lap RF by oh. Immersion RC. Well, thank you. Oh, I don't think this is it. Connect. Connected. Oh, wonderful. So in case you're not super familiar, the way this works is it detects your video transmitter signal strength. And when, you're, when your video transmitter passes past it, it detects a peak in signal strength and it registers that as the end of a lap. As much as I thought once upon a time, surely that can't be very accurate. It's actually super accurate when it's configured correctly. There are some ways that you could get like false reads or missed laps. Uh, and there are some parameters in here we can see. Uh, for example, I'm running at 600 milliwatt video transmitter power, so we'll put it all the way up at max. We'll put in the race band as the preset channels. Max gate speed of 160 kmh. Yeah, that seems about right. Race band, there's two race bands. What's the difference? That's F band. That's F band, not race band. It's, it's name brand. The race band. I can even 
turn on which channels I want it to be watching. If you have it watching more than one channel, it's much more likely to miss a gate, miss, miss a lap. So I'm going to put it on what channel I'm actually on, which is race eight, and leave all the other channels off. Minimum lap time, five seconds, that seems fine. Yeah, and right settings. The only thing we got to do now is go take this over to the start finish gate, and I guess you set it off to the side. Because if you had it directly underneath, that probably wouldn't be good. And I'm sure all of this is in the user manual, which naturally I haven't read. So let's give it a try. <laughs> let's just uh, make a couple passes and see if it's registering my laps. There we go. It picked up the first lap. It wasn't really a lap, but it picked me up. JB, 10.79. There you go. There you go, boys. I love that it calls it out audibly. I've got it set to start timing from the first pass through the gate. JB, 12.98. So I've got a little track set up here. Just uh, just got a couple gates randomly set up. Let's do a couple passes and see how it goes. JB, 13.9. JB, 12.7. JB, 11.85. Oh, she, she down, boy. Is she down? She's down. Well, I could just uh, keep running laps, but uh, you get the picture. Uh, it's a fun little tool to help you measure your times and get faster. This race is over. And you get to hear, I think that's Joe Scully was the recording. Scully, the famous announcer for MultiGP. Uh, so you get him as your co-pilot, so that's nice. Um, I don't have the lap RF. If you're interested in picking up a lap RF, I got links in the video description where you can pick it up. Uh, I gotta confess, it's not perfect. I haven't run into any glitches with the, with the software yet, but there are people who've had them for a while and there are little glitches that they're annoyed that Immersion RC kind of hasn't fixed. In fact, I think a little while back, Immersion RC actually opened up the firmware, open sourced it so other people could work on it. I'm not actually 100% sure what's come of that though. Um, regardless, it gets the job done. I know a bunch of pro racers who use this for their personal practice. Uh, if you're not interested in spending $100 on it, I'll also put, give you a link to some open source and do-it-yourself uh, solutions down there in the video description. This is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy flying. You guys, I don't know where I am, and I, I don't know what's going to happen, but if I don't make it out of this, I just want to know that you subscribe to my channel. Or maybe join my Patreon or, or click one of click one of these videos I picked out for you. <laughs>